Wednesday night baseball now from Bush Stadium in St. Louis. Tonight, the second of three to start the week between the Miami Marlins and the St. Louis Cardinals. Major League Baseball on the show starts now. Adam Wainwright is on the mound for game two. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Well, as you can see, he's a tall drink of water out there, especially on the mound. That can really work to your advantage because you work on more of a downhill plane and you typically get more extension to the plate on your release. The key, though, is that he has to be out front with his release point or he'll be more likely to miss up in the zone. Ready now, Derek Dietrich. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And our first pitch is taken for ball one as we're officially underway tonight here in St. Louis. And fellas, we take a look at the Redbirds entering play here tonight. They've been in a nice little groove, winning three of their last four games. Hey, Matty V, we're taking a look at a team right here, D Row. Through five games of this homestand, they're three and two. I know they were expecting more, but they'd like to win this one here today and get that up to four and two on this homestand. Yeah, this is an important one right here. You don't want to go 500 first six games, especially at home. On the road, you can deal with it. At home, this is a must win. Swing and a liner. A leaping try, but it's out of his reach and into the outfield. Boy, talk about being a game of inches, D. Rowe. That was a bullet just out of the reach of the third baseman. Yeah, third base is just a reactionary position, kind of a la goalie in hockey. He didn't have much chance there. He tried to make a play, get it above his head, but he was unable to get there. Into the box now, Leo Estrada. As he'll watch a sinker here that misses, it's ball one. The 1 0. Slapped hard the opposite way. And that'll get down for a base hit. Hey, they're seeing this pitcher well right now. They were obviously paying attention in the hitters meeting. He's found a barrel to the first two guys to start this game. Now he's got to worry about the middle of the order. Into the box, JT Real Muto. A ball and no strikes. Dietrich on second Estrada on at first with nobody out liner towards second but well, this is hauled in by the second baseman with that a look at the batting order for the Marlins Danny any thoughts look man everybody should be looking at the guy in the three spot he's got a five game hitting streak going in you've got to start those big streaks somewhere I like the way he's swinging the bat right now great approach very comfortable let's see if that streak continues today set to get his evening at the plate started Tim Beckham and it's been a real struggle for him with the bat so far this year looking to get things turned around in a hurry ready with the first pitch here it comes shoots this one over to first to second for one on to first but not in time as he's in there ahead of the throw second baseman. here's Starlin Castro and their runners at the corners now. First pitch coming from Wainwright. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Pham is there and he puts this one away for the third out. So a great job there of working out a potential trouble. So a couple of hits here in the top half, but nothing comes of it. And now the Cardinals get their first shot at it here. No score. Wei in Chen, the Taiwan native, gets the starting nod. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, one of the strengths of this guy is handling right-handed hitters. 
right-handers coming into this game are hitting under 250 against this guy, so he's doing a lot of things right when the right-handers step into the batter's box. Stepping in for the Cardinals, Colton Wong. And as you can see, he's had some troubles here in his own ballpark. That's something he'll look to improve upon in this one. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Rounded back up the middle. Estrada up the middle. Throw not in time as he's able to leg it out. I know that has to be frustrating from a pitcher's standpoint, but nice execution, nice hustle. Bottom line, nice hustle. Pitcher's still one good pitch away from getting a double play. You know, Dero, one of the things you want to do is make quality pitches as a pitcher, and there's not much you can do right there. You make a pretty good pitch, and the next thing you know, you have a leadoff single on an infield ground ball. Here comes the first pitch. Takes a high fastball for a strike. Guys, this Marlins ball club, as they begin play here tonight, they've been fairly punchless of late, losing last time out and, in fact, dropping six of their last seven. Yeah, Maddie, they lost last game only by one run. Those are the tough ones. But I'm sure they've looked at the film, made a few adjustments, and let's see if they can give a better effort today. Runners off for second. Hit the other way out toward right field. Here comes the right fielder. He can't get to it. This one's down. And he is in there. Well, that's surprising right there. Hit and run. Tactic used to perfection. Balls hit to the outfield. The batter does his job. I don't know how that runner's standing on second still. You tip your hat to the outfield to get it in super quick, but he's got to take the chance to get the first. In now, Tommy Pham. And he's a bit tardy there on the first pitch fastball. It's nothing in one. The 0 and 1 delivery. And there's one well above the zone for a ball. Boy, if you're going to throw a pitch like that to this guy, you have to make sure it's up above the zone like that. He can't do a whole lot with that, but if it were a little lower, he can and will make you pay big time. Now the one and one pitch. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. And nearly a three-run shot. Instead, it's a foul ball. Good chance he's not seeing that pitch again. If he does, it's got to be bounced. But I'll tell you, from a pitcher's perspective, that's nothing but a long strike. To two balls and two strikes now. So let's take a look at our umpire and crew in this one. Behind the plate is Joe McDonald. You know, you got to take your time and feel Joe McDonald out behind the dish a little bit. He has a tendency to move his zone around, usually set, settling in in those middle innings. You know, all you ask for an umpire is to be consistent. At times, Joe Mack is a little bit too inconsistent, particularly from a pitcher standpoint. And he lays off the curveball. Strike three called, and that's going to be out number one. Now a moment here in St. Louis to look at the Cardinals' starting lineup. Danny, who stands out to you? Yeah, man, I think everyone should keep an eye on Colton Wong. He's really swung the bat well against left-handed pitchers so far this season. He's hitting over 300 against southpaws, and he's facing another one of those today. I'm sure he's excited to hit this one. Coming to the plate now, Paul DeYoung. And he could give his guys an early lead if he can come through here. Chen sets. Here's the first pitch. Oh, that's too high. And a fastball just a bit up. The 1 0 home. Looked at for ball number two. Well, not a great spot to be in right now. 2 and 0 to a great hitter like this. This is when you really have to pay attention as a pitcher. And if you have good off speed stuff, this might be the time to start mixing in your off speed stuff. 
the 2 0 on the way. Too tight with that one. 3 and 0. He's gotten himself into a little bit of trouble out here. Middle of the order up in a run scoring situation, and now he might have to challenge him. Going to have to make some good pitches here. Three balls and a strike to the Cardinal shortstop. Hey, boys, you talk about getting your A swing off. That's what it looks like right there. A guy with massive power letting it eat. And he misses with it. Ball four. So that'll load the bases. And now he's really going to need to get a ground ball. He's definitely stumbled out of the starting blocks here in the first. Giving up a couple of base knocks on that walk. First innings are often some of the toughest for a starting pitcher. Here's Matt Carpenter. He drove in the other of their two runs last night. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Swung on and missed. Outclassed by that fastball for a strike. Wong at third. Fowler at second. DeYoung at first. One gone. He's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. With two strikes now and a runner at first, do you go for the strikeout or are you still looking for the double play ball? This is a great spot to be in as a pitcher. You have two strikes, you can bury one for a potential strikeout, and at worst, keep the ball down in the zone. You might be able to turn one pitch into an ending ending double play. A little bouncer. That winds up foul. Back to back sliders away. Now I think you have to think about running something hard in. Not a good idea to throw a good hitter the same pitch three times in a row. And he turns on this one and yanks it foul and back out of play. Here comes another 0 2. Missed with a slider. Hey, this is a monster strikeout situation right here. The double play would be great in this situation, but I know he's going for the K. You get a 1 2 count on a guy, he's going to throw his nastiest stuff. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the 1 2. And he fouls this one off. Popped him up. Real Muto is there. Two down. That's exactly what they wanted out of that pitch up in the zone. They took him up the ladder and he couldn't get up to it. So that was an easy pop out. Well executed pitch there. Here's Marcelo Zuna as he'll look at a fastball too high for ball one. And he comes in as a player to watch out for, hitting well over 300 on the season. One zero count. Here it is. Fastball misses badly there, and he's behind two and zero. This is worst case scenario for the pitcher. That's the offensive player, man. Smile on your face, knowing you're sitting fastball right down the middle. Now the two zero home. Two balls and a strike now. Two one home is laid off of for ball number three. You fight so hard to get into these type of counts. You can't let this pitch get away from you. You have to keyhole something middle of the plate. Hey. He 
a slider right over the middle. Hey, this is a huge pitch right here. It would be demoralizing to watch this inning slip away. Three two with the bases loaded. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. Mm, would have been a grand slam. Instead, it's a foul ball. Another full count pitch home. A swing and a ground ball to third. And this scoots under his glove. Oh, what a time for that. One run scores. And the second run will score. That makes it a 2 nothing ball game. Hey, one of the things you want to do, Bureau, is strike early, and they've done just that with a big hit driving in, too. Yeah, Dan, great to grab an early lead right there, especially when you can throw up a crooked number for your pitcher. Here's Jed Jerko now. Grounder hit hard down the first baseline with a foul ball here 0 and 1. Two down runners at first and second. The breaking ball that time in for a strike. Hey, down 0-2, he better be leery of this guy's nasty changeup. He has the ability to bury it down and away or down and in wherever he wants to. So you got to be on point with this one. He's ready. Here's the 0-2 pitch. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Waving on it is Brinson. And the inning is over. Some more of the colorful characters here at the ballpark tonight. The three of us return with more Wednesday night baseball after this. Striding into the box, Brian Anderson. He'll get us started in the top of the second. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs, but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Missed with a breaking ball. The wind up and the 1 0 pitch. This one's down to third. Throw to first will be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. The St. Louis Cardinals attack you on defense in this fashion. And this team. They're not going to be moving around as much as some of the new age teams. The shifting and moving the third baseman over second base and the right fielder to play third base. This is going to be your stationary team trusting pitchers to execute pitches. Ready now for the Marlins. Number 12. He went hitless last night in a game where his guys could push across only one score. First delivery to him on the way. And he just misses with a curveball. Now the 1 0 is taken for ball two. It's never advantageous to fall behind 2 0 as a pitcher, but if you're going to do it, it's far better to do it with a guy down in the bottom of the order. Time for a challenge fastball right here, though. The 2 0 on the way. Finds the zone, strike one. One out, nobody on. He's fallen behind now, three and one. In a great location that time on the corner, three and two now. Hey, he got away with that one right there. If he's going to live up there, spinning it up top of the zone, he's going to get hurt. Hey. 
Oh, look out. Hot shot to third, and there are two away. Batting eight. Center fielder number nine. Lewis Brinson. And that'll bring in the multi-dimensional Lewis Brinson. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And he takes a pitch right down the middle. You know, you think it's an eight hole hitter right there. You shouldn't be taking that fastball, and you're right. But when you got the pitcher hitting behind you, you sometimes sit off speed because that's the pitch you're usually going to get. The pitcher does not want to get beat by you, and he's not afraid to walk you and hand it over to an AB against the pitcher. Strike two called on the inner half, 0 oh 2 now. Love that pitch right there and he executed it perfectly a big arcing curveball that starts at the batter's hip and then just bends onto the inside corner a lot of hitters have a tendency to open up way too early and they can't make good contact on that pitch and Fowler will put this one away to retire the side a scoreless half inning there from Adam Wainwright his guys lead it to zip. Stepping in for the Cardinals, Yadier Molina set to lead off the home half of the second. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. High in the air out to center field, waiting on it is Brinson. Looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. All right, here's the defensive alignment for the Miami Marlins. And if you look at the numbers on this team, defensively, they're in the top five. Fewest errors in the league. Flashing the leather, picking and grinning. Keep an eye on them. They play stout defense. So in now is the Cardinals pitcher Adam Wainwright as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Here's the first pitch to him. First pitch fastball off the plate there and it's ball one. Bases are empty one man out. Two and oh now. And this guy can hit a little bit too, so you just can't lay one in there 2 0. The 2 0 on the way. Swing and a little tapper. That's a foul ball. The 2 1 home. Is a fastball taken high for a ball. One thing that could nag at you as a pitcher is having to work really hard to get a guy that you think you should be able to cruise right through. He's not known for his offensive prowess, but he's putting together a real nice at bat here. And he misses here, ball four. And somehow he manages to walk his opposite number. Wow. Well, this guy's been prone to giving up walks and bunches, and that's already two walks here in the early going. We'll see if this continues to be an issue for him as this start continues. Ready for another chance. Colton Wong. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Tried to check it and it's 0-1. Here's the 0 1 pitch skied into very shallow right. Number 12 is there and he makes the catch for the out. Riding in once again, Dexter Fowler. He reached on a single in his first try. Here comes the first pitch. Takes a high fastball for a strike. 
Yeah, I'm shocked he let that first pitch go right there. High fastball, but usually those ones travel the furthest. From the stretch. And that's inside off the plate with the fastball. It's one and one. As a veteran pitcher, he knows if he's going to have success in this one, he's got to establish that pitch in, get those guys to respect it, and open up that outer half of the plate. Here's the 1 1. Very weakly on the ground. That goes foul. Two strikes on him now. The one two lofted in the air out toward right center number 12 is there and he'll make the catch to retire the side cards leave one after two it's a two nothing ball game. Now to the plate the pitcher Wei in Chen as we are all set to begin the third inning in this one. First pitch coming, here it is. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. Into his windup, here comes the 1 0. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground, but a foul ball, one and one. Fly ball out toward left center field. On the move is Ozuna. One down. How about it? Digging in to try it again. Derek Dietrich. A base hit in his first trip. First delivery to him on the way. And that one just missed outside. One out, nobody on. Hit hard on the ground towards second. Wong has it. Throw on to first, and Wainwright has it working now. Two away. How about it? Georgia. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Leo Estrada. Two away in the inning, and Dan, it looks like this could be another one, two, three inning for him. Yeah, he has really found a groove on the mound, and it's been impressive to watch. It'll be interesting to see how long he can keep this dominance up. No Cardinals. Come on, Cardinals. First offering on its way. That's a Just ball. a bit high that time as he misses for a ball. Looks at a sinker on the outside corner. Estrada is a guy some would regard as a defense first type of player. He excels in the field and really makes an impact on games with his glove. At the plate, however, not quite as much of a threat. Yeah, but a guy with a defensive minded skill set like this can play in the big leagues a long time. You can find ways to score runs, find ways to put the bat on the ball. You can't find guys that play defense the way he does. Well, that's a nice base hit right there. Way to break up the rhythm. That was almost eight in a row. This guy was starting to get his bearings about him on the mound. Had to break it up. Standing in now, JT Realmuto, as the sinker to him finds the zone for strike one. Bag and he has to dive, but he's back in easily. Estrada, the runner at first with two gone. And again, a throw, and he'll get dirty, but he's back in safely. Right, no. 
inside with the sinker and that'll keep him honest at the plate. He's got to find a way to grab some composure out there and not let this inning get away from him. He was dominating and now he goes out and gives up a two out single and then almost drills a guy. Get back in the zone. The one one he is low and outside for a ball. Well it's two and one now and we haven't seen a fastball from him in this at bat yet as a hitter you've probably got to sit on that right now. A runner on first with two away. Chopped weakly to the left. DeYoung fields it cleanly. Throw on to Carpenter gets him and that ends the inning. So no runs on a hit here no errors one man left on. We'll move on to the bottom of inning number three. It's the Cardinals two and the Marlins nothing. Into the box now. Tommy Pham. He'll get us going in the home half of inning number three. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Just able to get a piece of that for strike one. And he gets him to swing through that one. He's in control 0 and 2. So far in this game he's the only guy in the lineup that's gone down on strikes. Yeah and he might strike out for a second time right here. The wind up and the 0 2 pitch. Good waste pitch 1 and 2. I love a well executed change up especially one down in the zone. The only problem throwing it in that situation you leave that belt high or miss your spot just a hair and you could have some problems right side but it's going to be a foul ball. Hey I don't mind you throwing a fastball in this situation but I think if we're being honest with ourselves that one caught a little bit too much of the plate just hung in there on that one. Again a one two. Look out that one almost got away from him two and two now everyone relax not a fastball right there obviously a little arm side run he missed his spot no big deal hit hard on the ground a second gloved by Castro and there's one away now batting the touchdown. So here's the cleanup hitter, Paul DeYoung. He drew a walk his first time up. First pitch on its way. A changeup over the inside corner. Bases are empty, one man out. DeYoung in an 0 2 hole here. DeYoung. Just 24 years of age, he was a fourth round selection back in the 2015 MLB draft. Hey, when you come out of the middle round, you have to grind for everything, and that's exactly what this guy has done, and he has turned himself One into a strike. solid big league ball player. Count is one and two now. The one two. Still hanging with him, another good swing to keep it going. Batter's going to have to find a way to regroup right there. That caught too much of the plate. He knew it. He missed it. He might not get another opportunity to put the ball in play. Two and two the count. Chen into the windup. Two two on its way. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time. Out number two. Talk about blowing it by a guy. Geez, I mean, that fastball was way behind him when the swing came through the zone. I have to think he was looking for something off speed, and he just couldn't pull the trigger on that fastball. Here's Matt Carpenter. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0 and 1. 0 for 1 here in the early going. And 
he'll manage to fight this one foul over near the left hand side and that'll keep the count steady at 0 and 2. When you have two strikes on you as a hitter if you get something that you can handle you have to find a way to do some damage with it. That was a missed opportunity. He takes it to the opposite field, high and deep to left. Dietrich going back, but he won't get there as it lands just shy of the wall. And now this is thrown wildly, just getting it into the infield. There's no question he's been struggling at the dish lately, trying to do anything to get himself going. So he's got to feel pretty good after that double. Not to take anything away from him, but I think I could have probably hit that pitch. Yeah, that's one of those gift pitches, not the location he was shooting for. Here's Marcelo Zuna as he takes a called strike on the black. It's 0 1. A couple of RBIs for him already, and a chance for more here. Lifted in the air to shallow center field. Brinson's in pursuit. He gets there to make the play, and that ends the inning. Danger averted following the two-out double. The three of us return with more Wednesday Night Baseball after this. Up next from Miami, Tim Beckham as we begin the top of the fourth. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. Right over the top with that curveball, and it's 0-2. Beckham, a six-foot-one-inch right-handed swinger and thrower. His contract is set to expire at the end of this season, so he may end up hitting the market this winter. Yeah, Maddie, there's three dates: the time you get called up, and the time you get to arbitration, and one when you finally hit free agency, where you have a chance to truly enjoy this game and get paid for all the hard work. And this is the start of it. The arbitration process allows these guys to finally finally start making some real dollars in this game. Ready now, Starlin Castro. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. First pitch coming from Wainwright. And this one's not close. It's in the dirt for ball one. No runs, three hits, and no errors in the game for the Marlins. Looks at a sinker there that drops in one and one. Towards second, and this will be put away easily for the out. Up next for the Marlins, first baseman Ryan. Digging in for his second at bat, Ryan Anderson. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Here's the first pitch to him. Ground ball right side, scooped up on the backhand. The flip to the pitcher covering as that will retire the side. Miami down in order. They trail things here two to nothing. Stepping in, Jed Jerko. He flew out in his last step back. Third baseman, Jed Jerko.
ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And the slider just stayed north of the strike zone that time. Change up in for a strike. The 1 1 home. Smoked on the ground left side. And that's through for a base hit. Make him one for two in this one. So the innings underway with the Cardinals getting their leadoff hitter on base. Here's the catcher Yadier Molina. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Check swing and a pop up out toward the mound. Chen will do this himself, and that's the first down. The next to bat for St. Louis, Adam Wainwright. He could be bunting here in order to stay out of the double play. He's set and the pitch. Comes right after him with a fastball for a strike. And one and one as this one's in on the hands. Jerko, base runner at first with one out. Cardinals pitcher up there with a one and two count. Frozen with a high fastball there. We'll see if they try to climb the ladder even more on the next pitch. Working for the punch out and the offering. Oh, and you can tell he wanted to hold off, but he swings through the inside pitch anyway, and he becomes out number two. For me, check swings are right there next to bang bang place at first as the most difficult calls for an ump to make. Taking a look at show motion, the batter doesn't appear to hold up enough, so I think the call was right. Here's the second baseman, Colton Wong. As he'll take a look at a high strike that time, it's nothing in one. He's one for two in this one. Ball here, not close, and it's one and one now. And he'll turn to the slider here, and it just misses. Two and one now. Rounded up the first baseline, but this will wind up a foul ball. Two and two. Let's go, Here we go. He pulls this one into right, and he dives to make a spectacular catch. What a play there to end the inning. Worth a second look here as this is a beauty to end the inning. The three of us return with more Wednesday Night Baseball after this. At the plate, number 12. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Number 12. Here's the first pitch to him. Nope. A ball and no strikes. And he gets ahead with a sinker on the outside. Sinker misses that time, and it's two and one. Now the two-one pitch. 
Lined hard. But this will be a foul ball. Swing and a ball line softly down the right field line, but foul. The 2 2 one more time. Is looked at and the count moves full. Great AB so far. I'd really like to see this guy work a walk and get on base for this team. Maybe give them a shot of confidence that they got a shot to get back in this one. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. Softly on a line to third. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. Center fielder, number nine, Lewis Brinson. So striding forward now, Lewis Brinson comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. First offering on its way. And there's a sinker that he just spits on as it misses low. The 1 0 delivery. Takes a look at one catching the outside corner. There's a swing and a high drive into left center field. Ozuna looks up. Out of here. Into the visitor's bullpen. It's a solo shot for Lewis Brinson. Home run number five on the year. And the Marlins have made this a two to one game. Well, before that homer, he was on autopilot, retiring five hitters in a row. Just goes to show you one lapse, one bad location, and all of a sudden you're licking your wounds a bit. Stepping in now, Wei in Chen. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. Uh, this is foul for the first strike. Fly down in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. On its way, the 0 1 pitch. Heavy sinker just stayed inside. One run, four hits, and no errors in the game for the Marlins. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Under it is Ozuna, and there are two gone now. Back to the top of the Miami lineup now and stepping in, Derek Dietrich. One for two. He singled and grounded out so far. First pitch coming, here it is. And he'll look at a first pitch curveball that's in the dirt. It's ball one. Two out, nobody on. And this one's too far inside, ball two. Now the 2 0 home. Too high, and it's three and zero. Oh. He's had command of his pitches all day. Hasn't walked a soul, but we find ourselves in a three-ball count here. Want to see how aggressive he gets in the zone? Now the three and zero oh offering. He's taken strike one. Three balls, one strike. The three one. Inside with the fastball, and he works the base on ball. And don't forget, he gave up a long ball earlier in this inning, so you can understand why he wasn't too aggressive with him there. When he got him to three and one, he wasn't too anxious to challenge him. Digging in and looking for more, Leo Estrada. He singled his last time up. First pitch of the at bat. And that sinker misses at the shoe tops. Ball one. As a hitter right here, you have to tell yourself, I can't get too big. Don't let the moment get away from me. A nice bullet in the gap gets the job done in this situation. Ready with the 1-0. Smoke toward third. 
That's through a base hit, and he's got his third hit of the game. Hey, he might have been able to get his body in front of that. I don't know. But the bottom line is, I love the effort to slide and try and knock that down, but it was just too hard to play today. Into the box, JT Real Muto. As he'll look at a breaking ball that misses for ball one. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. Trying to hold the lead. Here's the delivery. Low and away as he misses again, 2 0. Oh. Well, I know the last thing he wants to do is load the bases right here. So the pressure is on right now to get back in the strike zone. Now the 2 0. -oh. Down low, and the plot thickens here. 3 and 0. Oh. I'm pretty surprised by the location on those last three pitches. The book on him is that he hits the way pitch pretty well, and he just saw three in a row out there. So does he go back out there again? No, Matt. I expect him to mix it up. Most catchers won't call for the same location over and over and over. And that's over three and one. Three and one with two on, and this is where you, you got to be geared up for something to drive. I don't think you can just groove in one right here. You still have to try to make a competitive pitch. The three and one pitch. And he misses with it for ball four. So the bases will be loaded now with two away. I think he was trying to be a little too fine there, and a walk is the result. Well, the good news is he has a force at every base. The bad news? A single probably drives in a couple of runs. So striding in, Tim Beckham, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. A fastball, and he swings through it to fall behind. After the walk and with runners on the bags, he couldn't afford to fall behind here. Nice job of jumping ahead with strike one. He's set. Here's the 0-1. Here's a cutter that's off the plate, one and one. He's obviously been very impressive on the mound in this one. And I think the big reason why is his ability to stay out of the middle of the zone. That's kind of obvious, but it's clear to me that even when he misses his spots, he's not missing over the plate. Swing and a soft liner toward third. And that's a fair ball as this one gets by him at third. One run is scored. And the second run will score as well. Hey, that makes this one a lot more interesting here in the number middle of innings, Dero, after being down by one. Big base Garland. hit drives in two. Yeah, that could be a huge knock right there, Dan, especially the way the bullpens have been throwing. They've been nasty. There's a lot of fuel out there, a lot of fire. Doesn't bode well for the offense. Here's Starlin Castro. Zero. In the dirt, throw to third, and oh, they say he beat the throw safe at third. So now two men in scoring position. Well, he's just lost complete control of the baseball in this inning. Two walks and now a wild pitch. You know he's talking to himself in his head, and I can't imagine he's saying any real nice things either. Hot shot on the ground is short. DeYoung's got it. Throw is in time, and they're able to avoid the huge inning here as the side is retired. So they pick up three runs on three hits, including the home run. No errors, and two men left stranded. Home half of the fifth coming up. Miami's out in front, three to two. Here's Dexter Fowler now. He'll look to light a spark under this lineup that hasn't found the scoreboard since back in the first inning. Yeah, and for me, the story has been the starting pitching they face. It's been very difficult to rebound and, quite frankly, dominate after getting roughed up a bit in the first inning of a start. So I'll give him a lot of credit for what he's been able to do. Here's the first pitch to him. A slider that just grabs the outside corner. These are huge innings for a team's morale. The pitcher wants to go out and throw that shutdown inning up and get the boys back swinging the bats again with a chance to capitalize and even extend this current lead. 
into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. Hit hard to short. Played on the backhand. Throw on to first in time, one away. Ready for another shot now. Tommy Pham. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Chen gets the sign. First pitch on the way. And a curveball that time that broke too low. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right handers starting to loosen up. The 1 0 home. Is in there for strike one. The one one home. Misses ball two. The two one home. Is taken ball three. This is where you cash your checks right here. Three one. You're one of the best hitters in the game. You live for situations like this. Fifth inning of play here in a three two ball game. Three and two full count. Three two counts are usually a time to challenge the hitter but I think he'll be careful here. Shoot for the corner, and if you miss and you walk him, so what? That's better than him putting one in the seats. And here's the 3 2 from him. Hit the other way out toward right field. Under it is the right fielder. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. Ready once again, Paul DeYoung. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Missed with a slider. Now here it comes. Hit back up the middle. Estrada ranging up the middle. And he'll make that play look easy as the throw is in time to end the inning. Down in order go the Cardinals. Still a 3-2 ball game. Your attention please. Now pitching for the Cardinals. Number 60. Ah, Digging in once again, Brian Anderson. No hits to this point. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Curveball that time, not even close. The 1 0. Is looked at off the plate for a ball. Now the 2 0 home is laid off, but in there for strike one. Now the 2 1 pitch. Makes him swing and miss on a ball out of the zone for strike two. On a good curveball, gets him swinging for rap number one. You know what was really impressive to me about that strikeout? He fell behind 2 0 to start the at bat. That's a pretty bad place to be, but then he kind of refocused himself and came right back with. Three quality pitches in a row to sit him down. That's not easy to do, but now his focus has to hone in on getting ahead on the next guy. In now, number 12, as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. Let's do it, 
Here's the 0 1. And a neck high fastball that time. Cardinals get the bullpen started here as a right hander is up and warming. One one is swung on and missed and that's strike two unless you're willing to sell out and try and take one part of the field out of play and just work the ball up the middle the other way it's extremely difficult when a guy's throwing this hard to stay back on a breaking ball you either commit and be all in on a fastball or try and find a way to work the ball the other way to keep you back on the off speed and he will run this one down a good read off the bat for the second out. Lewis will stand in yet again as we flash you back to the middle inning. This was a turning point here. A solo home run that was really one of the key at bats of the ball game to this point. Scratch that sleepwalk in the reality. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Takes a knee-high fastball. One pitch on its way. One and one. The one one. Hit on the ground out to short. Backhanded. And the throw is not going to be in time as he's able to reach base safely. Boy, D Rowe, this looked like one of those easy one, two, three innings. Next thing you know, a little swinging ground ball and a two out infield base hit. Yeah, it's never too late, and you never know when a rally's going to start. It seemed innocent early on. He got two quick outs, but now we see traffic at first. Oh, don't swing at anything. Throw it anywhere. From the stretch. Nope. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. For the current campaign, Chen is carrying a slugging percentage under 350. Needless to say, he's not a big extra base hitter home run guy right here. Here it comes, one and oh. Sliders in for a strike. Now the one and one pitch it is a sharp slider taken low for a ball. Now the two one takes a pitch for strike number two. Won't commit on the slider good patience and it's full three and two. Full count with two outs now so if he could put the ball in the gap somewhere he could have a good shot of driving in a run because the run at first will be in motion. Brinson is off of first with two away. <laughs> Got him swinging and that will end the inning. Marlins lead one but they still lead it three to two. Barnhart will come on and make his fourth appearance in this campaign. Andy Barnhart. Here's Matt Carpenter, one for two with a double on the ledger so far. First baseman, Matt Carpenter. First pitch on its way. And that slider's almost in the dirt. The 1 0 is chased out of the zone for strike one. Well, these hitters can expect to see a heavy dose of that big fastball from this reliever. It's a major part of his arsenal. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. 
A swing and a miss at a ball down. The one two. Fouled away. And oh, strike three called on a fastball that looked inside from here, but that's out number one. Well, that call looked like it was a little in the pitcher's favor, but it wasn't outrageous. Hey, listen, calling balls and strikes is a really tough job, and even the best are going to miss some from time to time, especially when they're sort of borderline like that last one. Not sure the hitter would want to hear that, though. Here's Marcelo Zuna. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. Swing and a soft liner. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. Another multi hit game for him here tonight. No surprise there as we take a look at the league leaders in hitting. And as you see there, he sits in fourth place in that department in the National League. Here's Jed Jerko now. He's working on a one for two game so far. with the first pitch here it comes That's a missed with a breaking ball in today's game everybody's trying to work off the mound north south trying to elevate that heater he wanted that pitch right there but I can tell you as an offensive player I'd rather give you six inches off east west than to have you call that high fastball Jerko in front two balls and no strikes Now the 2 0 is yeah, right. swung on and missed in that strike one. Here we go. That's Looks at a fastball inside, so he's in the driver's seat, three and one. Waiting on deck, there's Yadi Molina. Three and one pitch. And he lays off here. A nice job. It's ball four. First and second now with one away. It's all a part of learning how to pitch in the big leagues. Major league hitters will not bail you out by swinging at pitches out of the zone. So he's going to have to continue to learn how to get guys out at this level. Here's the catcher, Yadier Molina, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. First pitch coming, here it is. A breaking ball taken on the inner corner. Man, the Redbirds, they've been struggling all game long. They've yet to been able to get that big hit. This is the time for the big hit for the Redbirds. Ready with the 0-1. Breaking ball. That's in the dirt as he takes a ball. One one home is laid off for ball two. A lot of times you see guys get too aggressive and try to do too much at the plate with guys on. But right here he's doing a great job of waiting on the right pitch. Got himself ahead in the count now. The two one. Swing here on the fastball and this will get fouled off to the right side. Here now the two two. Line drive to center field, and that's in there. Base hit. Long throw to third. And they won't come close to getting him. He's in there at third. The pitcher, number 16. Greg Garcia will look to provide a little punch off the bench as he'll hit with runners in the corners and one out in the Greg inning. Garcia.
first pitch is a slider called for a strike. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. And this is fouled at the plate. Looking to put him away. Here's the 0-2. And he strikes out. And oh boy, all he needed was a fly ball somewhere to give him the lead. But instead, there are two guns. It's never a good look to strike out looking, but it's way worse when you do it with a guy in scoring position. Those are the times you really want to see a guy battle and at least put the ball in play. Here's the second baseman, Colton Wong. As he'll watch a first pitch curveball drop in there for strike one. Looking at his career totals, Wong brings a batting average just a little over the 250 mark. 0 oh, and 1 count, and the pitch takes a high fastball for a strike. He certainly hasn't been the aggressor in this at bat. Two straight takes, so now we'll see if he can change his approach and battle up. Working to keep it tied. Here's the pitch. And oh, this one's by him to the backstop. A throw to the plate. And not in time as the run scores. And a disastrous time to uncork a wild pitch as the go ahead run scores from third. This is why you've always got to be careful with a runner on third. He went with the slider there and just overthrew it and spiked it into the ground. He's going to have a hard time letting that one go. Looking to keep this a one run game, the pitch. Tough curveball that time, but he's able to make a little contact to keep this at bat going. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. Fouled off. A ball and two strikes. Here it is. And a fastball just a bit up. Two two. Good job going down and hanging with it that time. Hits are even at seven apiece. A two and two count. Here's the pitch. Breaking ball swung on in the dirt. Throw to first is in time, and the inning is over. So it's two runs on two hits, no errors, and a runner left. We're through six full. It's the Cardinals four and the Marlins three. Welcome back to Bush Stadium here in St. Louis. Seventh inning upon us with the Cardinals out on top, and it's time to check out the game summary to see how we got here. Your attention, please. Now pitching for the Cardinals, number 36, John Gil Martin. Leading off the inning, Derek Dietrich, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. This thing's far from over, even though we're moving into the back end of this game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy, and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. Pulled toward right center field. And a high bounce will take it over the outfield wall, and he kicks off the inning with a ground rule double. Well, that will bring a smile to a manager's face every single time. First hitter of the inning just squares it up and bounces it over the fence. Even if it stays in the yard, that's a double either way. Ready for another shot now, Leo Estrada. And it looks like this could be a critical at-bat in this one. Well, a glance at my scorebook shows they haven't been able to get him out yet. So this could be a fun at-bat to watch.
come set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. In the dirt here, the throw will go to third, and he is in there at third as the possible tying run. And he's going to make it up to third here as he advances on the wild pitch. The 1 0 home. A swing and a miss, strike one. One one home it swung on and missed for strike number two. The one two is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. Anytime you get rookies just breaking into the big leagues you have to expect a certain amount of this. There aren't any easy at bats at this level and you really have to learn how to slow the game down in your head because everything feels like it's so much faster up here. Matt Bowman takes the mound now and it appears he's being brought in to face the right handed batter who waits next. Yeah you usually don't hear the term righty specialist very often but that's kind of how they're using him here Matt. Most hitters have a harder time against pitchers of the same handedness so we'll see if this move pans out. Into the box now. JT Real Muto. High pop up. Carpenter calls for it. He's got it, and there are two down now. Third base, number two. Digging in and looking for more. Tim Beckham, runner in scoring position with two gone. Here comes the first pitch. Leaves a slider right over the middle. He's ready. Here's the 0-1. Takes this the other way to right. And that will get down as he delivers a big one here. It's a base hit. And the tying run is in to score from third. It's a 4-4 game. You know, D-Row, in today's game, it's not easy scoring in the late inning. So that RBI base hit to tie things up, that comes at a really good time. Yeah, I say it's not easy. They got 11 guys in the bullpen, and I don't think a guy throws under 97 miles an hour with sinking cut. That is unbelievable he's able to get that knock in that big spot. And that's through for his first base hit in this one. And that's going to move that go-ahead run to second now with two gone. Nice execution right there, Dan. Kept his front shoulder in, kept his hands inside the baseball, and ripped the base hit up the middle. And if you're a pitcher right there, you can't get discouraged. Sometimes, even when you make a good pitch, the ball is going to find a hole somewhere. That one right up the middle. Hoping to keep it tied. Here it comes. Filed off wide at first, but boy, that had some zip on it. Beckham over at second. Castro at first, two out in the inning. The bouncer to the left side. On to first, and this will remain a tie ball game as the inning is over. But the tying run has come across here as we're set up for an exciting finish. On to the bottom of the seventh. Get up and stretch here in St. Louis, and we are tied 4-4. Your attention, please. New pitcher to tell you about, and it's the sidearming right-hander Brad Ziegler that gets the assignment. Ready for another chance. Dexter Fowler. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Dexter Fowler. First pitch coming. Here it is. Swinging a ball hit on the ground. Uh, this gets foul. It's 0 and 1. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. There's a knee high pitch that catches the zone. Up and the 0 2 pitch. 
And that one just missed outside. The one two. Misses for the second ball. The two two. Hard on the ground towards short. Estrada right there. And there's one down now. Tommy Pham. Digging in to try it again. Tommy Pham. It was a fly out for him in his last trip. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. There's a strike. To me, getting ahead 0 1, it's the most important pitch in the game, Matty. I, it puts the hitter on the defensive. I can only think of myself being in the batter's box. When I'm sitting 1 0, I am all over the gas, or I am allowed the opportunity to sit on something without fearing going 1 1. When you're down 0 1, your head's on swivel. And Castro will put this one away for route number two. Now batting. And now the Cardinals number four hitter Paul DeYoung 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Pitch on the way. First pitch hacking here and that's the first strike. Hey that was a nasty pitch right there. It's the depth of a sinker. Sometimes it's a matter of whether or not it's moving east west. But that one right there had such good downward action. Great pitch. The 1 1. On the ground up the middle. Estrada up the middle. Throw on to first gets him and the side is retired. 1 2 3 go the Cardinals. This game's all tied at 4. Now pitching for the Cardinals, number 56. Stepping in and ready for another shot, number 12. And this tie ball game is a battle of the bullpens now, and I'm sure you're enjoying that, Dan. Bullpens are such a big part of baseball now, Matt. All these teams have such good seventh, eighth, and ninth inning guys. It all boils down to whose bullpen is better. Here it comes. And boy, a high strike called there. That's not all that consistent, but it's strike one. Missed with a slider. Backdoor breaking ball just missed right there. It's such an effective pitch if you can hit the corner with it, but no dice this time. And not a real good cut at that slider, and he's behind one and two. Strike three pulled on the fastball, one gone. Center fielder, number nine, Lewis Brinson. And that'll bring in the multi dimensional Lewis Brinson. He went deep back in the fifth. First offering on its way. Lofted in the air out toward right center. There to take it is Fowler as that becomes out number two. Johnny Giovatella will get the call to pinch hit here as we'll see what he can do with two out and the base is empty. And that's in there for strike one. He'll come in with an average down at 230. One home run and a dozen RBI. Set with the 0 and 1. High in the air and drifting out to shallow center. Pham moves over. 
He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. One, two, three, go the Marlins. Still all square at four apiece. Your attention, please. Now pitching for the Marlins, number 71, Drew Second. Riding in once again, Matt Carpenter. He got called out on strikes his last time through. Carpenter. First pitch coming. Here it is. Almost a worm burner as he misses on a low fastball. Ball one. And that one stayed up a little high. The 2 0 on the way. High in the air into shallow left center. Dietrich is there and he has it for the out. Digging in once again, Marcelo Zuna. He reached out a single last time and later wound up scoring. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Great tilt on the slider on the inside corner. Marlins have some action in the bullpen now as a right-hander is up and throwing. On its way, the 0-1 pitch. Tough slider down low for a strike. So back-to-back -back sliders for strikes. Does he come back with yet another? There's another slider. That's back-to-back -back good sliders, and this guy's breaking ball is really good. And when he's throwing it well like he is, and he's confident with it, he can throw it three or four times in a row. A really good slider in this one. To one and two now. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes and it's fouled away. Got him swinging chased it well out of the zone and there are two gone. That was a big strike out there guys. The best pitchers have the ability to strike guys out when they really need to. And that second out was really important at this point of the game. Could be something we look back on later when the game's over. Here's Jed Jerko now. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. A hit and two tries for him so far. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. The 1 1 is off the plate, up and away. To two and two now. I know we got a swinging miss right there, but that was a hittable location to a really good hitter. I don't know if he gets those back if he continues to miss in those spots. Swing and a miss and that ends the inning. Down in order go the Cardinals. Score remains tied at four. The Gateway Arch illuminated at night here in St. Louis. Welcome back to baseball on the show.
So the batting order turns over now and set to go Derek Dietrich. So far, two for three in this one. First pitch on its way. Ninth hey. inning underway now as the first pitch is taken for a cold strike. One and one to the Marlins leadoff hitter. The set and the one one pitch. Fastball stays way up that time for ball two. Set to deliver on two and one. A wave and a miss a tick behind a good fastball. I can't imagine he was sitting on fastball at his neck right there. He is going to have to lower his sights if he's going to have any chance. Hard hit ball to second. Wong is there. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. How about it? What the Leo. Estrada. Ready once again, Leo Estrada. He's working on a three hit ball game right now. Here's the first pitch to him. Zero. And a whiff at a good slider that time. Oh, one, here's the pitch. Just a bit high that time as he misses for a ball. One out, nobody on. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. And the pitch. Hit in the air out to center field. Fam is there now, and he has it. Two gone. Ready now for the Marlins. JT Real Muto. He was retired after popping out in his last at bat. He's ready. Here's the first offering. A high fastball is in there. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. Miami down in order. This game's all tied at four. Next to bat for St. Louis, Yadier Molina. He came through with an RBI single in his last at bat. Yadier Molina. First offering on its way. Rounded down the third baseline. Throw in the dirt, but a good job of staying with it that time as he's retired. Up next for the Cardinals. Edgar. Jose Martinez will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Number 38. And that slider is almost in the dirt. And he falls behind now, two and oh. Wow, that looked to be well inside, but it's a called strike. Two and one now. Hit.
hit out towards second. Castro's got it. And there are two away now. Second baseman, number 16, Colton Wong. And now back to the leadoff spot in the St. Louis lineup. Stepping in, Colton Wong. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. First pitch coming, here it is. Now a hard liner. But this is a foul ball. Here comes the 0 1. Ball one. A ball and two strikes now. Bases are empty here with two men out. Again, he sends it out of play. Still a ball and two strikes. He's just having a hard time putting this guy away. Four foul balls in this A.B. I don't think this pitcher has got something that he can get a swing and a miss on. Hit down the line at first. Well, this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Another one two. Count still at one and two. Keeps fighting him off. The eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. The one two. To short. Estrada is up with it. And a close play at first, but he's called out and the side is retired. One, two, three, go the Cardinals. Still all square at four apiece. Brett Cecil takes the mound as he'll be the first man to pitch here in extra innings. Brett Cecil. So here's the cleanup hitter for Miami, Tim Beckham. Singled homer run in his last time up. Tim Beckham. Here comes the first pitch. Missed with a breaking ball. Ball one, no strike. The 1 0 home. Pitch swung on and hit in the air. Toward the line in right. And this is taken in by Fowler for the first down. Here's Starlin Castro. Last time through was a base hit. Starlin Castro. And the pitch. Tried to check it and it's 0 and 1. 0 and 1. Oh and one count and the pitch and he misses with it one and one now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. In for a strike and he jumps ahead one and two now. The one two skied into straightaway right. Fowler has a read on it and he brings it in for the second out of the inning. Now batting the first baseman. Now at the plate, Brian Anderson struggling so far in this one and looking to erase his 0 for 4 ball game right here. First pitch on its way. And there's one well above the zone for a ball.
the 1 0. Is an off speed pitch taken for a ball. Two out, nobody on. And a good comeback fastball there. It's two balls and a strike. Come down now. He's fallen behind now, three and one. Time to focus here. This game is way too close to be walking, guys, so we'll see if he can make him swing the bat on this next pitch. And it's up to a 3 2 full count now. We're seeing quite a few pitches up from him right now, and that can obviously be dangerous. A cold strike there, but he might need to lower his sights a little bit. Bases are empty here with two men out. Count remains full. He'll try it again, three and two. Sports to third. Throw on to Carpenter, gets him, and that ends the inning. One, two, three, go the Marlins. Score remains tied at four. Junichi Tazawa comes on to start the home tenth, and he's just hoping to get this one into the eleventh inning. Here's Dexter Fowler now. He'll start things out here in a tie ball game. Right fielder, Dexter Fowler. Here comes the first pitch. And that pitch catches the inside corner. A one pitch on its way. A curveball that catches the inside corner. Short scooped up on the backhand and not in time. So there you go. The possible winning run is on to lead off the inning. I know he didn't smoke that one from the offensive standpoint, but you know what? A knock's a knock, especially to lead off an inning. Game tied and it's getting late. That could prove to be pivotal. Stepping in for the Cardinals, Tommy Pham. A winning run is at first base. Here's the first pitch. Fastball that he's way out in front of. A swing and a miss. Possible winning run aboard here. Nobody out. Drilled right back up the middle. Fielded cleanly. The second for one. Back to first. It's a double play. And the prospect of more baseball moves on the horizon. There are two away now. Really good pitch from the pitcher right there. Down in the zone. Hits on top of it. Induces the ground ball double play. So that brings in the power hitting middle infielder Paul DeYoung as he looks at a fastball that misses off the plate for ball one. Previously against Junichi Tozawa, not a big sample size 0 for 1. The 1 0. Turned on that one and crushed it, just pulled it a little foul.
Lays off two and two now. Two out, nobody on. Even at two and two, here it is. Skied into very shallow right. Waiting on it, the right fielder. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. Redbirds down quietly. This game's all tied at four. Martin Prado is going to grab a bat now, so he'll be asked to get things started in the top half of the 11th. And here's a first pitch curveball that bounces on him there. It's ball one. And he's got that batting line up near the 300 mark entering play. Wide two and zero. Oh. Here's the two and zero, oh. and a neck high fastball that time. Well, knowing the threat this guy poses if he gets on base, I think the next pitch should be a challenge pitch. You don't want to give guys that can run a free chance to cause havoc out there, especially the leadoff guy. The three zero. Oh. He's looked at for the first strike. Hey, that 3 0 pitch might have been important for him right there. Regroup, get his mechanics back under him, and drive something down through the strike zone. Wouldn't throw the exact same pitch right here. Might want to cheat towards one of the corners. The 3 and 1 pitch. Hit to first. Carpenter has it. And he'll step on first for the out. Three unassisted. Center fielder, number nine, Lewis. Richie Mota will move into the on deck circle now to try to get something started here with one gone in the inning. Mota. Hit hard on the ground to second, and that finds its way into center for a one out base hit. Don't sleep on the bottom of the order right there. He broke out all ambush tactics. First pitch fastball, middle end. He's able to drive that for a nice swing. Cameron Maven will be called upon here to hit with the game on the line. Cameron Maven. inside with that one ball one there's one away the runner at first represents the potential go ahead score double play is in order however the 1 0 and a fastball just a bit high those were great takes right there those were pitches that a lot of guys normally swing at but he took both of them and finds himself in a productive count leverage 2 0. And oh, pretty nonchalant that time by Molina as that pitch gets away. And a very big mistake as that'll move the possible go ahead run into scoring position. Well, the graphic here isn't going to properly show just how far that pitch was from the strike zone. That thing wasn't even close, and I think it made the decision to move up a base pretty easy to make. That's in there, three and one. I got three and one. Three balls, one strike. Well, 
go ahead runs in scoring position here with one away. Swing and a miss and they come back from a 3 0 count to sit him down on strikes and there are two gone. Not too often you see an at bat go from 3 0 to a strikeout so that's a pretty good job on the mound right there. Kind of nice that he got a free strike on the 3 0 take but he still had to put it in the zone. Stepping in now Derek Dietrich as he will take strike one on the fastball here no balls and a strike. It's been a two for four effort for him so far in the ball game. High in the air down the right field line. Fowler has a read on it. And he hauls it down in the corner. One hit, one left. It's getting late. One run can win it as we move to the bottom of the 11th. And we are tied 4-4. Martin Prado will stick around as he'll take over in right field. Now playing right field, number 14. Martin Richie Mota will stay in the ballgame as he takes over in center. Mota. Nick Whitgren takes over now to start the home 11th and he's looking to get this one to the visiting 12. Here's Matt Carpenter. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Curveball that time not even close. Leaves a change up high for a strike. Oh, come on. Belted high and deep into right center. Mota ranging back at the track. And that ball is. to right center and with one swing of the bat this ball game is over. Hey when you get the extra innings you're looking to piece together a rally or scratch any runs you can across the plate. But he says hey to heck with that I'm going to do it with one swing of the bat. So a walk off home run ends this thing in extras. That was fun. It's offensive stars, and in this one, he arguably shined the brightest. He's our top player of the game. When you walk up to the plate and hit a walk-off tater, you're probably going to be the player of the game, and that was a clutch swing of the bat, and he'll be riding high on that one for a while, I'm sure. This evening's game comes to an end 5-4, the final tally. Brett Cecil earns the victory out of the bullpen, his fifth. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter, at MLB The Show.